A lot of people are placing their bets on American Pharaoh, but will they actually pay off? John Milan is now joined with someone who tracks these odds. John. <laughs> Thanks very much, Shannon. A lot of people will be placing bets on whether American Pharaoh can win the Triple Crown tomorrow. Joining me now is Paul Lorenz, off-track betting manager at Potawatomi Hotel and Casino. Thanks, Paul, for coming in. Once again, we did this for Derby Day. Yep. I'm just going to drop the handicap talk and everything. I'm just going to ask you gut feeling and, ex and experience feeling. Is he going to do it tomorrow? This horse is really of the ones that have had a shot at it, I think is really going to try and do it, and I think he's going to do it this time. I'm going to have to agree with you on that, but the odds are horrible. I mean, if you bet $2 on this horse, what do you win? Well, if you bet $2 right now at the morning line at 3 to 5, $2 gets you $3.20. So if someone like myself wants to make some money, or somebody out there wants to make some money, like Charles Benson, how do you bet this horse? Well, you know, one of the things is if you really, if, if you're a believer too that this horse is going to win, you might want to just key him in an exact, that's the first two finishers, and hope for the long shot to come in second. And in, traditionally, when they lose these races, there have been some, like Nick Zito has put some horses in there, and there, he has one in this race, Fromento, right? Mm -hmm. The number four. They have been big upset winners in this race. Yeah, uh, Nick Zito's, he's had seven second place finishes as a trainer in the Belmont Stakes. Yeah, and some big, big uh, upsets also. Yes, he, he took away a triple crown from Smarty Jones in, uh, in 2004. All right, so... I, I've told people in the past, just take like five or six long shots, bet 10 bucks on each of them and, and hope they, they win and beat out the right. favorite in the Belmont. Then that happens many, many, many times, more than even winning the Triple Crown with a favorite. Correct. You know, but, but still, you know, looking at American Pharaoh, I mean, the, the combination of Victor Esposito and trainer Bob Baffert, you know, they, uh, they attempted that back in 2002, and last year, Espinosa learned a lot with California okay, well, Chrome. He will be hard to beat. Tell us quickly about the Belmont Stakes Party at Potawatomi tomorrow. Okay, so, so actually, if you want to make a bet and you can't make it to Potawatomi tomorrow, you can come tonight. We're going to be open till about midnight, 1 o'clock, make those advanced bets. Then tomorrow, the OTB off-track betting room opens up at 9.30, the Northern Lights Theater, 20-foot uh, by 20-foot screen, 500-seat theater, We'll open up at 10, and we'll have a glass giveaway. That third glass of the series will we'll start at 10 o'clock. All right, great, Paul. Thanks for joining us. Paul Lorenz, off trap betting manager at Potawatomi Bingo. Thanks for coming in. The Belmont Stakes are tomorrow on today's TMJ4. Coverage begins at 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Charles and Shannon.